The Philharmonic Strings Program is a, a program that we have um, where we go into the schools. We have classes in eight of the elementary schools here in Columbus. We have beginning and intermediate classes at all those schools. We also have the um, Strings Camp in the summer. We have some of our musicians that come over and teach private lessons in the, in the office. We have a youth orchestra. Currently, there are about 41 kids in there. Research shows when arts are included in a student's curriculum, reading, writing, and math scores improve. I truly believe that every child deserves an opportunity to make music in their life. It takes you to places that you may never have an experience to be. When I was in fourth grade, this wonderful man brought beautiful instruments to my grade school and said, who would like to play these? And I looked at that, I took one look at a clarinet and said, ooh, look at those shiny silver keys. I want to learn that. I would say that we have an absolutely extraordinary music program, but we are bound by state guidelines to, to cover the state curriculum, the state standards for music. When you have a program like the Strings Program, they can truly study it in depth, truly can learn how to play the instrument. Education is very important for the Philharmonic because uh, music in itself and hearing that is, is wonderful and we need to be able to continue to create that great music. Giving an opportunity for the young people of this community to aspire to play like those mus musicians that they hear is, is vitally important. Having fun while learning, just it just goes together, I think. Music is a beautiful roller coaster in which you can mix your emotions, your life, and you know, write it down as a history, as a history of, of a human being, more than just an entity that moves it without knowing where to go. I think I started playing violin because, like, it did look like something new and it looked like something that would be fun. I love music. It makes you feel good to play music and know that you made that instrument make a sound. There's a tremendous sense of satisfaction for these kids um, when they do give their best. When they have a performance that, that gives them a standing ovation, there's no bigger rush. Maybe playing that violin or that cello in that string class is the only thing that they have outside of their life besides coming to school every day. The nation's top business executives agree that arts education programs can better prepare workers for the 21st century. In a musical ensemble, there is a give and take, and hopefully kids have learned some of those skills that they can use that in a group setting when, when they're working. I find myself many times thinking, what if what if I'm playing this? Instead of this piece of work, it's a piece in the guitar that I'm playing in front of 4,000 people. I don't want it to be my mediocre, right? I, I want it to shine. When I talk to people in front of a room of 20 or 40 people representing someone, you know, in this case a company, um, what do I want? I want them to look at uh, a poor guitar player or I want to look at an excellent performer. It's always good if you see someone that has uh, a musical instrument in their background, you know that there's something about them that has probably taken them to a level where they have the discipline, but they also embody that creativity. Students taking courses in music education scored at least 90 points higher on the SAT than students with no arts participation. Once a child starts to pick up an instrument and they understand that I have to invest myself and I have to invest my time and my effort to, to craft this skill, then I think that feeds over into the rest of their lives. They understand that there are, t there are times when things are not going to come extremely easy. There's going to take some effort and some discipline. Then they're able to see the accomplishment on the other end and, and have a skill that they've developed that they'll be able to use for the rest of their lives. Students who have the opportunity to learn to play an instrument of any kind just opens up a whole new uh, world to children and uh, particularly 
children from poverty who don't have those experiences. That idea of performing in front of a group of people who are very interested in what you're doing I think helps a lot with their self-confidence and their ability to be in front of people and to potentially develop a characteristic that could end up being you know, uh, uh, an improved leadership skill in the future. As you think about the various programs in the community where people will come out to hear music or other arts and it's, it's, just, it's really bonding to the community that brings people together in maybe ways that otherwise wouldn't happen. The arts or music program in, in any community, I think, is very important. It, first of all, uh, the arts, I think, really provides a well-rounded uh, perspective in life. It's just not about academics. It's not just about sports or other. It, it really provides a well-rounded uh, individual. Families are focused on putting food on the table and a roof over their heads and just taking care of the, the basic needs of their family, so a violin, or any other string instrument is not going to come at the top of their list. If people do donate to the Philharmonic and to the strings program, it allows us to put instruments in the hands of kids who might not have that opportunity. When you're drawing people from all over the country or potentially even the world into your company and you're trying to sell them all the benefits of what the small community can offer, if you can tell them that you know you have good schools they all care about that particularly if they have young kids or whatever and then you tell them of some of the other cultural activities that are available like that we have a fantastic philharmonic and that's a very big attracting factor to this community people are embraced with the music programs and there's something for everybody there it's a gem for a city this size and it makes columbus special